Hi, it's Jamie from jamiewithguitar.com here, and this lesson is for the song Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. I've compiled this video lesson using the official tabs for the song, as well as watching live performances of Ed playing this song, so hopefully it's pretty close. Uh, if you're watching this and thinking your level might not be quite up to the song just yet, don't worry, because as I go through, I will be given some ways to simplify it ever so slightly, um, so hopefully anyone can have a go at this song. Here's the verse pattern. So we've got four chords for the verse. The first one is based off of a D major. We're not actually going to need that second finger, so we can let that one go. And strictly speaking, we don't need the third. But I'm going to leave that one there just in case the picking hand runs a little bit too far, acts as a bit of a safety barrier. We'll look at what the picking hand's doing for this section in just a moment. We're going to start with the first finger off also, and then we're going to be picking the open D and open G strings and then hammering on with that first finger to the second fret like this. The trick to any hammer on is always to look for the very tip of your finger and to try to snap down onto the fret as much as you possibly can. So that's our first chord. The second is a D over F sharp, which is first finger held on the second fret of the E string and another second fret, but this time held on the G string with your second finger. No hammer-ons or anything here, just that shape. Then we're onto a G, but it's kind of half a G, so we don't need these two fingers or this finger, which is probably the more standard shape you're probably familiar with with the G. Just those two are fine. Again, really we don't need this first finger, but it's just there as a bit of a safety barrier in case the picking hand goes a little wrong. And then after that, we're on to an A major. We're going to do what I call the lazy bar version of the A major. So it's where you allow the first finger to lean back and take care of all of the uh, fretted notes of that chord as one, rather than perhaps the version that's slightly more standard, which is this with all three fingers um, scrunched up into that fret. And then what we're going to do, one hit on that one, and then we've got another hammer on which is where we're going to pick the note which is being held under this bar on the G string, hammer to a fourth fret with your third finger on that same string, the G string, and then after that we then play a singular uh, D string which again is held by this bar. And then back to the D. So we're going to be playing this one finger style with the D chord held with our fretting hand we're going to be playing the middle two strings, the D and G string, the D string with your thumb, and the G string with your first finger of your picking hand. So you play those two strings open, and then you have the hammer on with the fretting hand. Then after you've played those strings, we come up and away from the strings, and aim to land on the strings to create a percussive hit on the guitar. And to do that, I'm trying to aim for the first uh, knuckle joint of my hand. We follow that pattern with the D over F sharp. Uh, this time our thumb is going to be playing the thickest string. And then our first and second fingers are going to be playing the middle two strings. Again, a pick and a hit. Same set of strings for the G chord. Again, a pick and a hit. Then we move to the A chord, and this time the thumb jumps across to the A string. So now I'm playing the A, D, and G strings. I pick the strings, and then this time we have the hammer on with the fretting hand, which I would probably play with my first finger, and then use my thumb to pick the D string, which then leaves me in the right position to play the next D for the next loop around. Here's the pre-chorus.
There are four main chords for a pre-chorus. E minor, A major, D, and B minor. Don't worry if you're not too familiar or comfortable with bar chords just yet. One little workaround that you can do is if you hold the second fret on the A string with your first finger and add a third finger on the fourth fret of the D string and play just those two strings, then you'll get a sound which is pretty close to the B minor chord but without the difficulty of playing that one. So the pattern itself, we're gonna go E minor to A to D then E minor to A, and we're holding on that for an extra bar there. Then E minor, A to the B minor, and then E minor, and then A major playing stabs with the, with the picking hand. Here's the pre-chorus. So for the pre-chorus, I'm going to be reverting to just strumming the strings uh, of the chord using the back of my finger and the fingernail of my first finger mostly. It goes to a quite simple pattern, which is just three hits on the E minor, one on the A major, one on the D, then back to the E minor. Another three hits on there. Three hits on the A major now. Back to the E minor. Three on there. One on the A major. One on the B minor. Back to the E minor. Three on there. And then a much closer spaced four hits on the A major. Which increase in volume and then we have a dead stop at the end of that one there. Um, that's how it's played on the album track of this song. When he plays it live he does play it a little bit more similarly to how he plays the verse and chorus pants. So it's a little bit more finger style with some percussive hits in there. So if you're going to play this as a solo piece um, or sing along to it then perhaps that's something you might think about doing and it might sound something like this. So all I'm doing different there is I'm just using picks of the string like we did in the verse, adding in some percussive hits, and then maybe every now and again might be picking an individual string to just fill it out a little bit, and then perhaps a few straightforward strums um, as well here and there. And certainly when I get to the A major, I'd make sure I'm using both strums, using that fingernail to do it like it would be in the album track version of this song anyway. For the chorus, you're going to do exactly the same pattern as the verse. The only difference is at the end of the chorus, there's a rundown which leads you back around into the next verse. So we'll jump straight to having a look at that. Here's the rundown. For the rundown, we start with a B minor chord go to an A major chord, then to that kind of half G, D over F sharp, but we're gonna add now a third finger on the third fret of the second string, then to an E minor, A major again, and then finally a D. If those chords seem like they're changing just a little bit too fast for you at the moment or if you're not too comfortable with the B minor or anything like that, the one way that we could approach this to, to enable you to play this song at any level is to treat this as a single note rundown like this. So I'm taking the root note 
of each of those chords and playing that one on its own. So it starts with the second fret on the A string, open A string, to a third fret on the E string, second fret on that string, open E string, open A string, open D string. And notice how there at the end, uh, what I'm making sure I'm doing is I'm muting the strings between those open strings just to make sure that they don't bleed together too much. So for the chorus, the picking hand is going to do much the same for the main pattern as it did with the verse. The only difference is going to be when it gets to the rundown section at the end, which is going to sound something like this. doing there is I'm holding the B minor chord first and I'm going to be picking the middle four strings of the guitar resting my thumb first second and third finger on those strings first and then picking up and away moving to the A major chord I'm going to play the exact same strings for that for the G I'm just going to jump the thumb across to the thickest then I'm going to keep that same finger pattern for the D over F sharp same again for the E minor, middle four again for the A major, and then for the D chord I would move the thumb across to the D string, first and second go on the following two strings and I'm just going to pick those three, and then I would be back into the verse pattern. So that's everything you should need to play this song. The structure of the song itself follows a pretty straightforward verse pre-chorus chorus rundown structure almost all the way through the only other couple of things to watch out for is you've got the electric guitar solo which happens as the middle eight uh, we would just play the verse pattern of chords underneath that also at the very end of the song you've uh, got a couple of tags so just after the last rundown it then does the rundown again a further two more times just to finish it up hope you enjoyed the lesson any other questions about the song or suggestions for future lessons please do let me know.